That'll keep my stomach quiet. Far this time. Durval should die for his crimes. I work all day while the nobles fiddle with their robes. A little sweat and hard work never hurt anyone. Knew it was only a matter of time before an Osarum tried to kill the Sun King. Khan Padish once again leads the Hunter's Lodge. I could not ask for a more noble house. I thought Sun King of Ad was sitting on his hands. But he got the prince out. I think the Sun King of Ad because I know I heard. It'll be daybreak soon. Get involved in politics. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. We hold the south. When will it end? Edelman is no traitor. He's joined his brother in the palace. I'll wager Erend is behind Durval's extradition. Basaram stick together after all. Ugh. Poor fate. Don't let your guard down. Machines or bandits try to get past me. Watch out for the Asheron merchants. They would soon keep you. Look at you. Aloy. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. The Eclipse will attack soon, from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. 
After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. We all have our place in the order of things. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaran cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. I'm afraid all we can do is wait. Get some rest at Olin's apartment, or tend to other matters. Attack on the city? What did we do to deserve this? Get to cover. Let the soldiers do their jobs. An army on the edge of the city. Look for cover. Don't get trapped. Check out these wares. A moment of your time, Outlander? Find better wares. Get to cover. Let the soldiers do their jobs. Would you like to buy something today? Check out Karja these and wares. Shadow have machines with them. Terrible machines. The sun's. Gather bows and spears. Don't let them take the city without a fight. Move along. You have no need to loiter around here. Fine goods. Only the finest goods here. Leave See the for rest. yourself. You'll like what I have for sale. I promise. You'll Don't regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Just a little town. Is 
Won't cost you a shard just to look. Won't find better wares. Polish that armor, is it? She didn't of even course. hesitate. She stood uh, between the assassin little... and our sun king. What? Nothing. Out with it, woman. Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Very shiny. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. <laughs> Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but... That was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. There was a guard under the last king. Far cry from those days. I only fight when I have to. But by the time I have to, I Prince usually Edemid want is to. alive and in the palace. Praise the sun. I've put something special on the tips of my arrows for the Eclipse. It's too bad Bahavas isn't here to see his little friends crushed. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Oh, my poor feet. Prince Etamin is no traitor. He's joined his brother in the palace. This place really couldn't be more different to the sacred land, could it? There are materials like I've never seen in the markets above. I tried to explain stitchers and makers to these Karja. You'd think that wouldn't take much explaining. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle? The crazy Osaram awesome. tried to as kill many us. As I have to. Until the machine rider I love it when you say things like that. It's so. What? Cheerful. <sighs> Alita, I'm I'm pleased to see you. But what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. 
I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. Father understood that I couldn't just stand by in my garden. Maybe this battle can finally end the war between the Karja. I should finish up here before the fighting starts. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. Oh, enough, woman. Like you said, we'll stop Helis cold. Together. I hear they call you the Anointed now. The matriarchs and their rituals. <laughs> Jan's probably eating it up. It's strange to fight alongside the Karja, but I guess they're like any tribe. Some kind, some vicious. Geneva, they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing? I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. Can't fault my prisoners' discipline. All those dawn drills have served them well. After it's all over, I might be the only one going back to the rock. How'd you like that? I've waited two years for this war to break. I can wait a little longer. Isn't that him? From the Battle of the Dawn? Can be. Cinnabar Sands was before that, and there were no survivors. Well, I don't like to boast. Oh, son, keep the shadow from falling upon me. Nil? Aloy. They told me your name, I said hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by metal. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. But you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Killed anyone lately you'd like to talk about? I don't care for fighting machines. But I hear these ones are demons. That's exciting. Trouble with a battle is, it can be hard to find killing to call your own.
Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges, so I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. See? That'll knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. With these, I think we could hold off an army. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. I don't make weapons for a living. It's more of a diversion. The city always ground my gears, but I'd miss it if it were gone. You take care of yourself and the cannons. I have nothing for you, I'm afraid. Artok? I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Orea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Orea's in our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. Cyan said she could not predict the outcome. If she had, I would have chosen not to hear it. Did we not fight back machine demons before? You, my sister, and I. The battle looms, but every day brings a fresh battle. Coming down steady as a drumbeat. You're the hunter from the Banu Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived, raged, and fought. 
Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. From their metal bones, I'll make my armor and my song. My spear is sharp. My will is like the oldest ice. If I live or die, they'll call my name down glacier cracks. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. When you need me, I'll follow your lead. I came prepared. I have arrows enough to take down five armies. Hawk and Thrush, ready for the battle to start. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. Hey, let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy, <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? 
Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the Vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. I hope we fight soon. My armor's getting itchy. O oh, great son, how does your gaze fall? In approval or approach? Turn our heads with your daily pilgrimage from the east where we came to the west where only you may go. You grant cold metal the warmth of life and let the machines bask in your great shining. For you, the shadows shrink and part and gather again only at your allowance without form. Your eyes, the day, your ears, the priests, your lips, the radiant Sun King, as there was before and will be again, your light. Naman, I should have known if there was going to be a Sun Priest here, it would be you. And if the Sun King had allowed Outlanders to set foot upon the Alight, this Aloy could only be you. I wish the circumstances were different. Or that the Psalms of the Sun could give you peace of mind. But if you'll allow me one pontification... Go ahead. You've shown strength and compassion. Our enemy is only a desperate hate. Both sides claim the blessing of the Sun. But the Sun that I pray to, it would bestow it upon yours. You know, Naman, I'm already under some pretty heavy divine pressure, but I'll try to live up to it. The tribes united against Shadow. How could that not be the sun's will? The Ataru have a proverb. Green grows from the ashes of a forest blaze. From what I could gather, the Nora believe their goddess chose them for a fated battle. The Asaran believe in many things. The forges hiss, the charcoals crack, the creak of the fermenting barrel, complex omens. It rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The anointed. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. The Karja do not impress me. To build so tall is to invite the fate of the ancients. We will stand tall, for we are the strength of the Nora. Your fight is ours. You know it to be so. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. 
It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Your friend, the vanguard, keeps looking over. Up here, I'm not sure if the world has grown bigger or I've grown smaller. I apologize for the war chief. She is hating this. Well, if we win, it'll be a good story. It might help with the ladies. What kind of machines have they got? Big, ugly ones. From the ancients. Ugly and ancient? Like your mother? Worse, like your wife. That's enough. This is what I have to deal with. We gonna fight soon? I'm getting hungry. You're always hungry. Feasts on me. After we win. Beer too? Beer too. Well, you just can't leave me alone, can you? I think she likes you. You gonna kiss her, Captain? Shut up. Now. We'll just pretend that never happened. I hope we fight soon. My armor's getting itchy.
Sun King's grown too soft. Too much Asaram influenced the palace. What's he thinking letting Durval live? We're letting the Osterum take Durval. They'll give him a rap on the knuckles and let him go. These damn Osterum stirring up tensions. Keep my eyes open. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. in shadow have mis- Who leads the attack? Is it Helis? Damn him! The rumors were true. They're about to attack. Get to cover. Let the soul... Where are they coming from? The West? The Jewel? Volan's apartment... feels... empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Could you sleep, Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you? How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? Guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. <laughs> 